Yeah, that's what fucked my lip up and what shit too. What happened? I was just, you know, cars, accidents. <laughs> <laughs> you just so nonchalant. <laughs> right now, I want to put together like a project. I'm thinking about calling it Rags the Reups. I like. I'm probably gonna go with that, but Rags the Reups. Yeah, but if if it changes, don't you feel me? Hold me to sure. that. We call ourselves city, but we global, and everybody that has a voice is allowed to be vocal. How did you get that name? Lido ain't shit. Um, he ain't shit. I, yeah, I used to hear it a lot. Like. That was kind of my handle on everything before I was even like rapping and shit, just cause I'm not, so. You're but, not. Like yeah. why just the such negative He's view? accepted it at this point. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm why, why are people calling you shit? Like, I'm real honest about it, you feel me? I really feel like everybody ain't shit, but like, you feel me? I'll talk about it since, okay. you know, motherfuckers want to be in denial. <laughs> Am I talking in the mic right? I feel like it's going in and out a little bit. Are you good? Uh, yeah, Maybe okay, just I, come a little closer. Go ahead and say, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah I think I am. Yeah, you good. Well, I was just figuring maybe, you know, you know, we all get to that point where like, okay, y'all want to say so much, I'm going to accept that. You feel me? That's where you was at with it? Yeah. And then it's like, it's been so long at this point. I don't even really think about it like that. So was it like relationships, like girls being like, you, you ain't shit? I mean, everybody. Like, it seemed like every time I do anything, it's just... Oh, you ain't shit. Well, I guess my decision is just not shit then. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, it's still very, uh, it's still different to go with that rap name. How is it spelled? Like, how how do you, like, is it all together? Yeah, is nah, it? It's all one word. L I T O ain't shit. L I T O ain't shit. Yes. All ain't, right. Ain't shit spelled like ain't shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, what you got going on? Are you part of, like, are you part of, uh, you know, Polk's white pole guy going on. You part of, Greenwood you know, label. Greenwood. Like what? Like where do you like stand? Money. Well, you know, with this occasion over here. I mean, I'm I'm fucking with Steve. He called, oh, I'm, a, I'm fucking fucking with Polk. That's actually my bro from. You feel me? Like we was jits and shit. So For sure. He hit me up the other day. You feel me? He seen what I got going on and stuff, and he was telling me about Greenwood the label. And I was like, I actually got like my own type. You feel me? I got my Gestalt label. Gotcha. But I'm yeah. trying to focus on other forms of media with that. Like, I'm not necessarily just trying to make it like rap and shit. Like, I really want to make movies at the end of the day, you feel me? And he was like, on some shit, like, why not both? You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. you can come over here, you feel me? Fuck what I got going on. And at the same time, you still got go what you got going on. Cause I'm still building it up, building it up, you feel me? Cause so, you, don't, you don't lose. Uh, it doesn't take away from you what you got going on individually. Yeah. It's pretty much a why not thing, right? Yeah, and I and the whole idea of gestalt is a word that means like the some like being greater than the individual parts. You feel me? So it's like it, it's the same idea anyway. So it's like that's why it really gravitated to me when he called me. And he was talking that shit because it's like you feel me. He had been telling me about you feel me everybody he had in Ohio and shit like that. You feel me? And he been telling them you feel me. He got somebody down here doing it and shit. It was just all about you feel me linking up. I ain't gonna lie though, I really, I got in an accident like the day before I came out here. Yeah. And I was finna just not go, you feel me? Cause I was like in a damn hospital. Yeah. Is that what you got me. this on for? Yeah, that's what fucked my lip up and what shit What happened? Too. I was just, you know, cars, accidents. <laughs> <laughs> you just so nonchalant. <laughs> you, you know, cars. Like, damn. You know what goes on Your with cars Your wrist look a here. little, yeah. like. I mean, it could be worse, I'm alive. You good? Yeah, he yeah. got me up here. It's just, you feel me? I feel like I had to say something about it because I'm looking crazy right now, you feel yeah. me? So it's just like, yeah. But it was still worth it, you feel Your me? Your car just, okay? No, nah, I was actually in the back seat, you feel me? Oh, okay. Uh, fucked me up. Like, I went flying, like, out yeah. the car and shit. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. Got dirty. It was a bad look. For but sure. It is what it is. Uh, that's, that's more than what it is right there. <laughs> that's more than what it is. But you got a good attitude about it, so, just, you know... Just uh, nonchalant, just yeah. Um, so that was on the drive up here to Orlando. Nah, I was I was trying to take care of something. I was trying to pick something up before I came here. You yeah. feel me? And and somehow my trip that was supposed to be thirty minutes turned into twelve hours. And you yeah, feel me? a ride to the hospital. But it was other people with worse shit going on. I For was sure. Like damn, I'm fucked up. 
Yeah. My jaw was a little like messed up too. So. Damn. How long you was in the hospital? Just a couple of days? No, I was just in there for the night. Like for I the just, night, you know, okay. I went to make sure that I wasn't gonna like die. Or Y'all gone? Well, was it like who was at fault for the accident? You don't want to put that on record that. right now. You don't <laughs> well, you like, know. I'm just saying, like, y'all going to fight there, you know, like I'm trying to say. Yeah, I feel you. I was in the back seat, so everybody who needs to take care of what everybody needs to take care of, they going to take care of that. Okay. Well, we've seen your name around town, uh, like we were saying before, we've seen work with Our Work Magic Daily, yeah. uh, stuff like that. So we've we've bumped into into your work, and... Now that you, we know we've been listening to you, we listened to a couple of songs, a couple of records. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it solidifies like, damn, like you, you raw, like you actually, you know, yeah, be talking, yeah. be talking your shit. So, you know, how what was how did you get into like rapping and because you an actual lyricist, like from yeah. what I'm listening, like you be putting words together and like mm-hmm. saying some 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 shit that I don't really hear like that around. So, yeah, I. It was really just like an outlet. Like I used to like write poetry when I was like, you yeah, know, you feel that makes sense. No, you had to be into some reading, sense. writing, just the way you put yeah, your words I really together. Got that shit from my mom, like she wrote like a whole book of poems and shit. So like when I got older, it was like I used to write them, and then like I got family that make music and shit. So like I didn't want to per se make music. I used to hoop and shit too. So after that was over, I realized I wasn't going to the NBA, and like you feel me, I just felt like I had a story to tell, so I just yeah. been. Yeah, yeah. So it was originally just an outlet for you, just you venting. Um, yeah, because I, I had like dropped out of school and shit. How a lot going on? Yeah. Yeah, it was just like, man, I got to talk about it somewhere. So now I, I try to, you feel me? I try to talk more now. Like if I'm talking about bad shit, it'll be like reminiscing on it. Like now, I be trying to like be more like focused. You feel me? Yeah. Positive minded, that type of shit. What's different about the the two like the two aspirations there? Because there's a like a hand in hand. There's always been some sort of like a um, a hand in hand thing with 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 playing ball and music. Like the culture with like ball and music is just always like kind of like it's the same group of people that want to do it. I want to do it. Yeah. Like you go to the same neighborhoods and it's like you got this kid that want to be a rapper and then next door is the kid that want to be a hooper. Just, a hooper and half the time it just depends on how tall they are. I think that's, I think that's why you got a lot of short rappers. They just found out early. I ain't good. At I football. ain't going. I ain't going to the league, bro. Yeah, so they got they got real talented. So yeah, it took me a little longer, but I think I made up for it for sure. That makes two of y'all here. You ever played ball against Polk? Who who would win on like a one on one between you and Polk? Uh, if I got back in shape, I'd give it to him. I'd you give it, yeah. yeah. But I, I didn't I didn't hoop. Uh, I don't think I don't think that I, did we hoop against Polk. Uh, I think my senior year we did, but he might have been in trouble. Oh, think. your whole team, like your 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 school versus his. Type yeah, shit? I went to Sun Coast. Sun Coast, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But we, I mean, you know, we don't hoop the parks and shit like that. You feel me? So that's just summertime type shit. Yeah. You guys have any records together? And nah, not yet. But we're gonna definitely get on some for sure. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. So, all right. So besides uh, uh, the songs you have out. Like, have you been on the, in the same, like, process or, uh, as far as, like, I'm not going to really, like, drop any, like, music for now. And I'm kind of going to help, you know, grow this thing we have together and, and, and grow myself. I think it's, it's from the beginning. It's always been, like, a growth process. Like, I feel like I'm in my best position of, like, what I got most recent is, like, my best shit, you feel me? And it's, like, right before COVID hit. I was like, all right, I got to start paying more attention to the, like, outside and shit, you feel me? Like, I can't keep just making music. Because with me, if I could just, like, make music and then not do shit else, I would just make music and not do shit else. So it's like I make some shit, and I'm tired of it already. Like, I'm already making more music. I ain't even, like, push the last shit, you feel me? So I said I was going to, like, start, you feel me, getting on that shit. And then the shit hit, so it's like I had a lot of time. Can't even be outside, yeah. You feel me? I had a lot of time to sit down and, like, really grab how I want shit together, load up on music and shit like that. So now it's like, I'm outside. So I'm Time to work. Mm-hmm. You, 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 be, you build, like, your music based off of, like, everyday experiences or, it, like, you, you kind of, like, just get, like, random inspirations and you just, like, okay, I got to stop what I'm doing and write about this. Um, Nah, to be honest, nine times out of ten, I just get in the mood where it's, like, I feel like listening to instrumentals. Okay. And then 
when I hear an instrumental that's fire, it's like, I feel like it's a, it's a different feeling I get every single time I hear an instrumental that I like. And that's why I kind of approach all my songs a little differently, you feel me? So it's like, it's nothing I'm looking for particularly or any like real specific inspiration. It's just when I hear it, it's just like, yeah. Instrumentals bring you somewhere else. Yeah, you feel me? Because I don't, I don't even really like listening to music, music for real. So sometimes I just listen to instrumentals just to vibe if I'm riding in my car, you feel me? Or some shit like that. I just listen to them. Mm. Okay. That is def- definitely very interesting. Um, that That's a, a style that I haven't heard. You know, I, I hear people you know, listening to different music, probably not listening to music, but writing and then getting the instrumental or looking for the instrumentals, mm-hmm. but not like just uh, habitual, uh, habitually listening to instrumentals and, and catching a vibe. That's kind of different. I mean, I, I like instrumentals that I can't even really particularly rap to. So yeah, it's like, like it's challenging, still, like a challenge kind of thing. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's still entertainment for me. So it's like, it's like it's a certain stress if I'm finna go sit down and be like, all right, I'm gonna go find an instrumental to rap to. Then I probably wouldn't be able to do that. But I just be like, I'm just trying to vibe. You feel me? Without really like hearing voices. Voices, yeah. With yeah, that, with that sort of interest in it, I, I'm, I'm sort of surprised you. Like, are you into like the production and engineering, like back end of of, of stuff? I I like taught myself how to do that shit, but like. In, in teaching myself how to do that shit, I realized I wasn't finna be a professional. Like, yeah. You feel me? I'll leave that to the people. professionals. Yeah, the people that really want to learn how yeah. sound waves and shit work. Like y'all. Got it's that. different. It's a different type of appreciation for music. I for think. Sure, for sure. Yeah, but it's cool though. It's cool. The back end production yeah. part. It's definitely a challenge. It's not. Uh, it, it's a. I think like more artists. I, I talk with with artists, and I think more artists should should learn that sort that part of music uh at least learn as much things as possible to cut down on costs and so many different things you have to pay for as a musician from from the production to the to the videography to just um graphic design all kinds of stuff so the more uh skills you can learn and you know help It'll help towards you know your spending and stuff like that. Would you agree with that? Like, are you are you like the one to look for for to to learn different things, or you just kind of leave that in the hands of others? I I agree, but like for different reason. And like I think when you're putting together like your final like project, whether it be a music video, a song, or something, you should definitely work with professionals. For sure. But at the same time, I feel like you should know at least somehow how all of that stuff works because when you're creating your vision like at the end of the day you're the one who like has the whole mm-hmm. vision for what it is and it's it's easier to have something that's what like more consistent with like what you want if you know what's what, going what, on yeah. exactly you, yeah, yeah, you know all these things can do like mm-hmm. if i could go to my cameraman and be like hey i want to do this and i kind of know how you feel me to work enough to be like this is my vision and it's not i'm just not just you feel me just spitballing just spit, yeah, for me. sure or it's like if i'm speaking to a producer or engineer i could be like yeah i like this but if you could change this in this way like i actually know what the fuck i'm talking about but yeah like I said, I'm not. I'm. I realize that I'm not gonna be professional at this shit. So yeah. if you really want quality, you are gonna have to like go get the knowledge base behind it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Little ain't shit. Where we from? Where we from originally? Like I know you from South Florida, right? I'm from Revere Beach. Revere Beach, right yeah. there, right at home. You just okay. Yeah, right by the beach. Okay. I got. I don't know why I thought like you were like maybe like from like Miami area. Nah, nah. Yeah. nah. I never got that before. Yeah. I lived in D.C. for a little while, so sure. sometimes people people don't really recognize, like, you feel me, that I talk like I'm from Florida, but... Yeah. It's not... I wouldn't say it's like a look or a sound. I think just from me hearing you in the past, I don't know what it was. Like, I, I, I thought maybe you were from Miami. I can't recall why it gave me that impression, but... I try to avoid, like, coming across as any particular, like, demographic or, like, you feel me... Any uh, too affiliated with any place? Like if you ask me where I'm from, I'm from Revere Beach. From like, Planet Earth. You feel me? You know I love I love my city and shit. It's yeah. just like that's not my that's not my musical inspiration all the time. Yeah. So it's like you feel me? I'm not. And you could tell that I mean like from artists that come out of Revere Beach, it's a certain type of sound. You don't really fit that description. So yeah, 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 yeah. you're your own artist. So that's just that's kind of how that comes across. I just I don't like to let me being from Revere Beach influenced me too much when I'm just, you feel me, in my vibe. How, how do you want to remember by, uh, you know, I'm kind of curious to know that, like, just, you know, with 
you know, you make a a, a mellow. You got like a mellow kind of sound. It's yeah. aggressive in its own right, and like, I think but it's it's, it's monotonous. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. monotonous, but like some of the things you say, uh, you good at like expressing yourself. Yeah. Like 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 very much um, real with with the words you're saying and um, putting the lyrics together. Be like, oh shit! Like you really like he really said this. So like, how do you want to be remembered by as an artist? Because you're not flashy and like arrogant and and yeah. do all these different kind of things to get attention. When I when I'm remembered on the whole, I don't want it to be like solely music. I want it to be that I have my hands in a lot of stuff that For I sure. made like good decisions and then, and movies and, along the way too. Yeah, you feel me? If I can, it'll be cool. <laughs> Set up some shit like that. <laughs> so you you don't have any like goals like working towards getting? Would you would, you're trying to produce movies, write movies, or what um, movies? I I want to write movies to be honest, but. Uh, as it stands, like, getting off the ground, I want to bring together people who is, like, all right, let's say I could bring together this team of people to create this movie, and then that's under the same umbrella as maybe this team of people that will create this podcast. Okay. Then I might be able to have, like, some running ongoing series, and it's all under the same label because, like, I don't think that there's any, like, consumer out there that's, like, only solely focused on one thing. Like, mm-hmm. if you like television, you probably like radio type shit, you mm-hmm. feel me? And it's, like... I'm still more in the learning process of how I could build all that together, but that's the overall goal. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good self-realization. Realization of self is important. Yeah. Uh, and I think you have that. I think you have a good realization of self. And I'm sure you know you raw. Uh, I don't know if you like a fan of yourself to where oh, yeah, like you're, no, I'm, I'm really, you're really, listening I'm to really your music. I'm really good at what I do. I'm yeah. great. Like, yeah. Yeah, you are. If you didn't know already, you, you obviously you know. Yeah, but that, you, that's that's why I named that little series the conversation. Like, yeah. if I'm not the goat, I should be in the conversation. Like, you feel me? Like, yeah. if you don't think I'm the greatest, <laughs> that's fine. But like, you got to bring a nigga up. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Well, I, I, I'm. You mentioned like basketball players. Like, I'm like you like uh, LeBron, yeah. Kobe, exactly. Uh, you don't Jordan, know who, and you don't know who the greatest. Leo ain't shit. But you got to put everybody. You got to bring everybody's name up. Yes, yeah. you feel me? For sure, should be in that conversation. Exactly. All right. Well, there's three parts to that to that thing, isn't it? Like yeah, three it, parts to, to the conversation. Yes. Third different. one's out already. Like yeah, it's yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It's on. Uh, it's on my YouTube page. Lido ain't shit five six one. I'm gonna say that to the camera. Lido ain't shit five six one. All right. Yeah. Bed that up. All right. So what what are we working on? Are we working on like some sort of like mixtape? I know you guys all been working. You got stuff out. Uh, no introduction. I see here is like your latest like. Yeah, that's, Dang. I started off the year just dropping some singles just to make sure that you feel me. I had something out there for people to listen to, but right now I want to put together like a project. I'm thinking about calling it Rags the Reups. I like I'm probably gonna go with that, but Rags the Reups. Yeah, but if if it changes, don't you feel me? Hold me for to sure. that. But like, <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm really working more on the music than like the outside like flash of it. But like at the same time, I'm still trying to like get it in place to have a proper drop. And you feel me, like. Also, I'm linking up with these niggas, and you feel me? Me and J-Rock got some shit that we finna be working on. You feel me? Right. Everybody. I was going to say, you we'll guys look out for that, yeah. You guys haven't dropped anything as, like, a, a collective yet, right? No, no, no. no. So. But we, we got in the studio already, and you feel me? We seen each other's vibes and how got to do shit. We going to be back, and like you said, you feel me? Y'all going to see a lot of everything yeah. together. Okay. We're looking forward to it. That's very exciting, man. Um, It's something special that you guys are doing, um, recognizing uh, each other's talents and, and coming together and being humble about the roles you play. Uh, I'm really interested to see how it works out, especially like with some of you guys not even being from Florida. Mm-hmm. You, got, you, has, you guys have a large reach now. Um, yeah. And for the most part, I know, you know, Polk's been quiet. Uh, you know, in general, you guys have been quiet. So it's, it's interesting to see uh, where you guys go with this. And you know yeah. we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be in the audience watching. So nah, please, for sure. dude, definitely stay tuned. For sure. Stay tuned. Yeah. For sure. All right. Well, you know, any last shout outs? Uh, Lido ain't shit. Uh, you know, tell the people why you ain't shit. Stuff like that. Whatever you want to say to the camera. I don't know if I've touched on everything. Uh, you you kind of like a. I get the feeling you you a reserved kind of person. So I don't know. I haven't. I don't know if I've poked that like, like at every single thing I need to, but. Uh, no, if there's anything you need to share. Any last comments that you want the people to know? No, I'm really just you feel me. 
I think I said everything. I feel like you poked it. You feel me? Does it? Do y'all have any last questions? Any last? Any interest? You feel me? I, I will say like, or like, are you like? Because I'm getting like a, a certain kind of vibe. Like, are you? Are you, what kind of vibe or do you really fit in like with the music? I feel like you like more of like. I like. like I like to be like heard a lot. So it's like I have specific tactics, I guess, to where like because. It's not the loudest nigga in the room that gets hurt. Saying, yeah. Sometimes you'll get hurt more if it's like, damn, he don't really always say some shit or then you feel me. I wanna know who you like to listen to. Um really anybody. I like but like I I don't I, I like a lot of like two thousand eight to two thousand like fifteen music, so like I still be bumping old Kanye shit. I still like the Carter three, you feel me? Like mm-hmm. that type of music. And then there's a lot of Boosie and Webby and just Southern influences, but it's a little bit of everything. Maybe a little old school R&B if I'm in the mood. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, man, a pleasure having you on the on the, on the platform. Uh, you, Lito ain't shit. We definitely didn't expect to to be sitting here talking to you. We kind of caught it back when you know we realized just who you were, but it's it's good that we're under the same roof. I didn't know you were, you know, you guys were at all affiliated and, and, and what you were doing. So, yeah. all clicked up in Orlando right now. Like yeah. I said, I just got a phone call out the blue, like, bro, let's do some shit. I'm like, shit. For sure. Good you know thing we me. came out here. That's love. Uh, you know, uh, talent recognized talent, uh, greatness recognized greatness. So, yeah. uh, all in all, man, um, uh, pleasure to be hosting you and the rest of y'all. Uh, so we're going to keep in touch and see what y'all got, you guys got going on. I know your name's like Lito ain't shit, but I mean, like, you're pretty cool. Like, Lito the shit, man. He, like, you, he, you, you, the shit. you the shit. So, like, trust, maybe you trust could, like, me, if you guys know me, you would get it. You get, yeah, you get it. <laughs> you just, hold on this. Sure, nah, I'm, I'm, sure, just, I'm not shit, bro. I'm sure you got your reasons. You're not changing me. You I'm me? sure you got not your reasons, shit. man. I've been this way for too damn long. <laughs> but thank y'all. All right. All right, man. Changing the Youth Hottest Podcast. We out. We out. We call ourselves city, but we global. And everybody that has a voice is allowed to be vocal.